I've had several requests <clears throat> to combine my uh, my Indiana Railroad map with Nathan, Nathan Bilger's inner urban railroad map and put it all on one map and this is my attempt to get that done. I simply stole the uh, KMZ files from Nathan's inner urban map and overlaid it with the map I created and I like to refer to these as uh, historical ebooks, reference books rather than maps but I'll show you how it works here real quick. Uh, first of all, we have a map table over here. And over here where my hand is, we have a map. And you click on this red title up here. And it gives you the length of the instructions I'm making right now. And uh, most of these links or maps have uh, Google Earth Flights, and here's the instructions on how to do that. Uh, the inner urbans are short, and sometimes it's really not worth downloading the information to, to Google Earth to fly them. So I created another link. Let me go back here. Uh, this link right here, which is linked to Google Maps, and it's exactly the same map, except it's in Google Maps. And it opens up in a map, so I always take it straight to satellite. And here you've got availability to street view. So if you got a particular place you want to go, you can actually go to street view to see if you can see any remnants of these lines. Now, like I say, most of my work has been the history side of it more than the mapping side of it. And uh, if you have any uh, questions about where I got my history, uh, let's see, let's just pick one here. I tried to include, here's the inner urban. And to get to the information, you just click on the historical link. This is supposed to go to the right place here. And I give my source right here. So if you don't agree with some of the history I've had here, especially uh, uh, the abandonment dates, the creation dates, and all that, please provide your source whenever you tell me something's wrong. Um, history is kind of a guessing game for all of us. And uh, I know I grew up in the same house with my sister, and we saw history of our our childhood in two totally different eyes, so history is really interesting. It's one of the reasons I enjoy it so much. And this is basically how I use the map. Uh, say I want to see the railroads in Washington, Indiana, I just type in here. I come up here and click on that little magnifying glass right there. Type in Washington. And down here it says move the map to Washington, Indiana. And it takes me right to Washington, Indiana, my hometown. From here, you can click on this. And there's the old B&O from Cincinnati. And this right here is Washington City Street Railway. This is the old uh, inner urban we have in Washington to take us from the junction of... Uh, where the old uh, Milwaukee Road came in, and uh, the O&M or B&O. And people can come shopping for miles around, hop on the streetcar, and go downtown here and do their shopping. So that's how that works. So if you want the historical link for that, you just click on the historical link. But it's supposed to, at least I hope it will, i got string capture on here. And there it is, the Washington Street Railway, and there's the history. And uh, there's an awful lot of history you can read about here. Uh, I tried to take it directly to the link if I could, but if I couldn't take it to a link, uh, I went ahead and put in that big document. And by the way, this if you don't want to go through maps, it has a table of contents. 
and you can just search through this document if you'd rather do that. So, like, you want to see the Cincinnati Lawrenceburg and Cincinnati Aurora Street Way, you just click there and it takes you right to it. It gives you the source there, and this is where you can find the books. So like, I just hit the high spots. There's still hundreds of pages available uh, reading here in this site, but you can really drill down by just clicking on these sources if you want. This site has a tremendous amount of information, and it also provides all the sources they got their information from. So you can find a good book to really drill down if you want to. And if, with most of my maps, uh, there's Google Earth flights available. If the line's long enough, I know I made some of them too short. And uh, it's probably not worth flying like that line there wouldn't be worth flying. To click on that one, you notice here we got a KMZ download link for Google Earth Tours. And what you can do is click on this link, and it takes you to this map right here. And uh, you just download it like this to your folder and open it up in Google Earth. And I've got instructions on how to do this. So just open it up here. And notice it puts it down here in the temporary folders, places folder. And there's a little video camera, you double click there and you're off to the flight. And like I say, I have detailed link on how to do that if you'd like to. And I think that's just about all there is to it. Uh, have lots of fun. There's an awful lot of reading here. And, uh, and uh, a lot of sources where you can find good books to buy to really drill down on the history of a particular line. Have fun.